Today we're talking about 11.6, which is natural logs. Um, we've already talked about the number E. And remember E is equal to 2.72. Natural logs are very similar to common logs. Remember, common logs have an understood base of 10. Natural logs, okay, which is LN, have an understood base of E. Okay, we don't write the 10 on this and we don't write the E on this. You do have a button on your calculator um, that is LN, which is underneath the log button. You also have like inverse natural log, just like you have inverse common log. So we're gonna look at this for a minute. I will say in the book, be careful because it almost looks like IN when they want you to use the natural log. But that is the lowercase l is why it looks like an i. So let's say um, we have the log of 6, base 6 of 254. Okay, um, you can use the, you, can, you know that that's equal to the log of 254 divided by the log of 6. And that's going to give me... 3.0904, depending on where they want to round it. Okay, I can use natural logs of this. So I can use the natural log of 254. Again, it's just calculator use, divided by the natural log of 6. It's still going to give me a 3.0904. This is what they call converting to the natural log and then evaluating. You're going to get the same answer either way you do it, okay? Now you cannot do a common log on the top and a natural log on the bottom. If I'm doing common log in a equation, I have to do all common log. If I'm doing natural log, I have to do all natural log. Um, so we can use them to solve equations, okay? The natural log or the common log, truthfully. This first one, you're gonna have to use the natural log, so I have 6.5 is equal to negative 16.25 natural log of x. Now, I've got a natural log right here. I don't have a natural log on both sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide by a negative 16.25. That's going to give me on this side a negative 0 0.04 is equal to the natural log of x. So basically what I'm saying is what's the number that I can take the natural log of and get negative 0.04. So I know I'm going to have to use like an inverse on this because in a way what it's saying is the natural log times that. So it's almost like you're dividing by the natural log, but you can't divide by the natural log, but you can take the inverse of the natural log. That's like dividing by it. And on your calculator, that's going to be second, and then the natural log button, and then the negative 0 0.04, which is going to give me a value of 0.67. Okay, hopefully you can work that out on your calculator. You might want to get the calculator out in this and try. All right, let's do another one. Let's say I have 3 raised to the 2x power is equal to 7 raised to the x minus 1 power. Okay? Um, you can do it with either natural logs or common logs. It doesn't matter. This side we're going to do common log. That side we'll do natural log. So 2x times the log of 3 is equal to x minus 1 times the log of 7. Given a choice, I typically use my common log because I can just write L-O-G easier than I write L-N for some reason. Okay, on this one, I have an X that stays on the front. I'm going to bring the 2 onto the 3. Remember our properties. Um, then I'm going to distribute the log of 7. So um, X times the log of 7 minus the log of 7. I want to put the ones with the x together. So I have x times the log of, and I'll go ahead and square that, 9, minus x times the log of 7 is equal to negative log of 7. I'm going to factor out the x, 
This is subtraction, which is the same thing as division. So it's 9 divided by 7 is equal to negative log of 7. The log of 9 over 7 is multiplied by the x, so in order to get rid of it, I'm going to have to divide both sides by the log of 9 over 7. Don't forget to put that whole thing in parentheses down there, or basically, I guess you wouldn't have to on this particular one, but make sure that whole thing's in parentheses. So I'm going to get x is equal to, on this one, negative 7.7429. Now that's using the log. Let's say I wanted to use the natural log. Okay, I'm going to bring the 2x to the front, and this time it's ln of 3, and x minus 1, and ln of 7. You're going to continue all the way down, okay? And every time you have a log here, you would have a natural log. And when you get to the end, you're going to get um, x is equal to um, the negative natural log of 7 over the natural log of 9 over 7, and guess what? you're going to get the exact same answer. So truthfully, this is a total preference, whether you want to use natural logs or whether you want to use common logs. All right, let's try it. Um, I'm going to have you try a couple and then come back to the video. Okay, do this one. And this one you're going to have to use natural logs on because you already have a natural log on one side. So they've already restricted you. So do that one. And then um, let's do this one. Pause the video, do them, and then come back. All right, um, on this particular one, I'm going to divide by negative 28.8 on both sides. And I'm going to get a negative 0.25 on that side is equal to the ln of x. I'm going to end up doing the anti-natural log of negative 0.25. That's going to give me x. So x is going to equal 0.7788. Okay, that should be your answer for that one. Um, on this one... I don't know whether you use natural log or you use common log. It's going to be the same answer. I'm going to bring the 2 to the 5, so that's going to give me a 25 right there. I'm going to distribute the log of 7. I'm going to bring this over here to this side, so I have x times the log of 25 minus x times the log of 7 is equal to, uh, let's see, I shouldn't have a 7 in front of it, okay, equals to the log of 7. All right, I've got on this side um, the log of 25 divided by 7 because it's subtraction, and I factored out the x. So you're going to get x is equal to the log of 7 divided by the log of 25 over 7. Now remember, you can use natural log all the way through, but your final answer should be 1.5286. All right, now let's do a couple inequalities here. you have 6 and it's raised to the x squared minus 2 power and it's greater than 48. All right, I am going to take either the natural log or the common log of both um, and I'm going to bring my exponent to the front and as I said I tend to go toward the common log just because I do. All right, now this one, I wouldn't distribute because I don't have an x over on that side, so I would just divide both sides by the log of 6. 
So I have x squared minus 2 is less than, um, let me see what that is. Don't forget, you do, it's going to, the calculator is going to put that. You need to add that, or otherwise you'll get it wrong. Okay, so this is going to be 2.161. We'll go ahead and round that. I'm going to add 2, so I have x squared is less than 4.161. I'm going to take the square root of both sides, and that's going to give me um, plus or minus, when I take the square root, plus or minus 2.0, actually I didn't round that there, okay, I got that, 2.0397, because it's plus or minus, I'm going to put the x in the middle, and I'm going to say it's greater than negative 2.0397, and it's less than positive 2.0397, okay? Um, all right, I'm gonna have you try one and then I'll give you your homework. Go ahead and try it, pause the video and come back. X squared minus one times the log of four is less than the log of 12. Um, so I have x squared minus 1 is less than the log of 12 divided by the log of 4. And that's going to give me x squared minus 1 is less than 1.7925, which is what I get when I divide those. I'm going to add the 1, so x squared is less than 2.7925. When I take the square root of both sides, I'm going to get plus or minus 1.67. So I'm going to write this as x is greater than negative 1.67 and less than positive 1.67. And that's going to be your answer. All right, let me give you your homework. Page 736, 18 through 46. Thank you.